What's going on guys? It's the moment we've all been waiting for for quite a while. We heard about this rumor last year and a lot of people didn't know if it was true or not. Well, I'm here to tell you it is 100% true and hopefully this is your first look at it uh, right here. So let's show you what's in the box. Let's unbox this thing. Then we'll talk about some specs of this mower, show you how everything works. And uh, man, it's, it's going to be totally awesome. I can't wait to get my hands inside this box and start unpacking this thing because if it looks anything like it does on the outside of the box, well, I'm totally excited. So let's jump into this. So what can you expect from this video? Hopefully any question or every question you have will be answered right here. Every specification that I personally know about this mower, you're gonna find out right here. Also, courtesy of Milwaukee, we're even gonna show you some video footage of this mower in action. We're gonna show you uh, uh, it against some competitor mowers, uh, how far it will go and some thicker grass before it actually stalls out. And we're gonna show you some cut quality uh, comparisons between it and competitor mowers as well. So stay tuned, let's jump into this video and hopefully it answers all your questions. First thing first, this is only going to be sold as a kit. So you will not be able to buy this tool only. Uh, it's gonna come with a three year warranty as well. So what you're gonna get in this kit is once you open it, you've got a manual for your mower. We've also got the unboxing that shows you how to put your bag together, which is pretty much putting your bag on this metal piece, just connecting it real easy. So this unboxing paper is also gonna show you how to assemble the handle to the mower uh, after you unbox it as well. You're also gonna get the manual for the charger and the batteries. Uh, and then this is for the discharge. So your rear discharge, may I add. Uh, so it's not side discharge, it's rear discharge. You're going to get two 12 amp hour batteries and then you're going to get a dual rapid charger as well. Then last but not least, you're also going to get the mower. Welcome to the new Milwaukee M18 21 inch self propelled mower. We're going to go over all the specifications of this and starting at the underneath of the deck. All right, so starting at the underneath of the deck here, you are only going to be able to use Milwaukee blades with this. Now you will be able to, I consider this uh, a low to medium lift blade. I would probably say more of a low lift blade, but they will be offering a high lift. The blade for this mower will be 2497 uh, and for the 30, uh, dollar option, you will be able to get the high lift. 25 for this one, high lift for 30. Then we have an 18 millimeter bolt. This is how you pull your blade off and it will move counterclockwise. Completely steel, 100% steel deck. This is not flimsy at all. It's just amazing the quality that they've put into this. Brushless motor, everything. Rear wheel drive. So here's your motor for your uh, self-propelled and we'll get into that. There's a couple different options for the self-propelled mode here and then you have your flap here. So let's turn it over here, start from the front, kind of work our way back through it and show you some more about this. So the first thing you're gonna notice is the LED lights on the front. We've also got a handle here. We've also got LED lights on both sides for 180 degree night time, whatever, so you can see. Once again, got our handle, we've got another handle. So easy, instead of having to reach under the mower now and completely 
try to pick it up, well, they, you got handles, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. Then we have the wheels. So it is a bigger wheel in the back than in the front. We got a side view of that there. Then we have our battery compartment right here. Deck height adjustment, you have seven positions, one through seven. This will go from one inch all the way to four inches high. Then we have our handle adjustment. We have three adjustments. So one, two, three. Then if you twist this, just like this right here, and twist the other one right here, then it will pop out and then you can adjust your handle to where you want it or you can fold it completely over like you seen at the beginning and it will lock into that spot for easy storage and we'll show you uh, how easy the storage is on this as well. And then we'll go to this stuff up here. So, all right, so I've turned the mower on the side here. This is your deck adjustment. One lever will raise or lower your deck just so effortlessly done. So no worries on that. Just put it where you want, lock right into place there and move on. All right, so now moving on to the back of the mower, we have our plug here. You open this up. We have our plug for our mulching. Then as you see, that opens that up and you can put your bag on here. Now, unlike most mowers that have a bar up through here, you do not, or you can, reach straight through the handle grab your bag and empty it that way instead of having to reach under or reach through, drop it down and then grab it. So no more worries of that. Then if you want to rear discharge, like there's arrows on this and there's arrows on this, shows you where it should be. So now that it's lined up in there, your arrows are lined up, drop this down and now you can side discharge or well, in this case, rear discharge. Slide that back in, close that, you're back to mulch mode. All right, before we move on up here, we're gonna show you some footage of the cut quality you can expect of this, along with how this is gonna hold up in some taller, thicker grass against the competitors. So let's show you some footage of that real quick. All right, so this is gonna be the max torque demonstration. And in this demonstration, all mowers are going to be set to one and a half inch deck height and in a mulching setup uh, as mulching is the most demanding application. Now, the grass height of this is uh, four and a half inches or so. They're taking three inches of grass off. And this is really meant just to show, you know, an extreme test and performance. Now, there's two big things to pay attention to here. First is the startup will these leading competitor mowers have the torque to start up taking you know in this tall grass without being raised up and uh, then how far can they actually go before they stall so let's show you this
So for this next demo, they are going to demonstrate the cut quality of each of these mowers. Once again, the mowing height is going to be set at one and a half inches and they are, you know, same scenario, going to be taking about three inches of grass off and these are going to be put in a mulching setup as before. Now the big thing we want to pay attention to here is the mowing path left behind. Miss blades of grass, clumping, things of that. So once this is done, uh, we're going to go in for a close up of the paths to take a look, closer look here and see what you think. Now I'm going to be 100% honest, if this is the cut quality I'm actually going to get out in the field with this mower, I won't be disappointed. All right, so moving on up to the top of this here, what happens when you put your batteries in, you want to start this mower, you pull this handle back. Now this is nice, it's got a nice integrated mold here to where this just sets down in there. Very nice and comfortable rubber feeling on both of these. Press this button, mower's gonna start. You're ready to go. This is your self propel. Kinda like Honda. So you press this down, you're ready to go. You can use your palm, you can, you know, whatever, your thumbs, and just rest them on there and go. So another feature of this is you have a speed control. So you kinda got two different speeds on this. So your first speed is you have one all the way up. If you press this down, then it will go to five. Now, if you want to use five, you press this down, once again, all the way, you're gonna go up to four miles an hour. So this will do one and a half to four miles per hour and whatever setting you've got it in. So if you wanted to go, then you could, you know, press this down and hold it all the way. Or if you wanted to, you could feather it a little bit and do it that way. Whichever way you wanna do it. Then we have our blade. Now this is what they consider high lift mode up top here. So high lift mode is this button right here. Once you are engaged, then you can press this and the RPMs of the mower will go from 2800 RPMs all the way up to 3300 RPMs. So if you think you need more power or you're just trying to get done a little quicker, well, you can press this button right here and now keep in mind with this on, they say you're gonna get about 40, 35 to 40 minutes of runtime instead of the hour of runtime. Now, with that said, the hour of runtime is based off of you going at a three mile an hour speed with only taking off one inch of grass. So, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna put it to the test once season comes. Right now we got snow on the ground but let's move on here. We have our lights. So you can turn your lights on and off and we will show you all this. We'll put the batteries in it. We'll actually start the mower up here in the garage, show you exactly how everything works of this. All right, let's put some batteries in this bad boy. So in order to do that, you just lift this up, slide your batteries down in there. Then on the back of this, you're gonna notice you have four red lights. Now these red lights will go from four all the way down to one. Once it starts blinking, then that lets you know that, hey, you need to try to hurry up and get finished. But let's say you run this out. This is an M18 mower. Will it accept other M18 batteries? And the answer is yes. But there is one thing. They really want you to use the high output batteries. So it could be an eight or six, the 12s. But let's say you only have an eight and a six. Well, you will be able to use the 8.0 and the 6.0, slide them in. But once the 6.0 runs out of battery, 
it will not finish up what the 8.0 has. So it will only go up to the, you know, the lowest number, I guess you could say, before it shuts off. So if you're running a 12 and an eight, well, even though you got a 12 in there, you're only going to be able to run up to the capacity of uh, like you had two eights in there instead of a 12 and an eight. So we've got that. Now, here's where it gets fun. Lights, turn our lights on. Here we go. All right, so we've got our lights on the sides, and our lights on the front here. Pretty bright lights. Just by pressing a button, you can turn them off. And now they are all off. So let's show you how to start this thing. All you have to do is pull this handle back. Like I said, very nice, comfortable handle. Pull this back and press this button. Once you press this button, this motor will start. Instant, 2800, less than one second, ramp speed up time. Let off, it's done. Then if you want to go into that 3300 or that high lift mode, as they call it, well, you start the mower, press this button, and we will show you what that sounds like. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to hear me because I have a, a lavalier mic for this. All right, so now we pull our handle back, we press this button, we're in the 2800 mode. Instant, crazy. Now, if we press this button, that's when it's gonna go to the high lift mode. Let's see if we can hear it through the lavalier. we let off of it blades are stopped we show full battery so I mean this thing is just I can't wait to actually use this thing and show y'all all right so I've got the batteries pulled out of this thing see if I missed anything here we went over the handles so you can and integrate picking it up easier and more move maneuverability side discharge is now rear discharge less space on the trailer for you to pull it up so now you don't have to worry about that. Uh, we went over the blades. Low lift blade that's on this is going to be 2497. And yes, and then the high lift blade is going to be 2997. One hand adjustable up and down deck lift all the way from one inch to four inches. Speed will go from one and a half miles per hour all the way up to four miles per hour. Once again, you will be able to use any of your high output batteries in this, but if you use a 12 and an eight, once again, you're only going to get the runtime of using two 8.0s. If you use an eight and a six, you're only get, going to get the runtime like you're using two 6.0s. Uh, oh yeah, easily easily this is probably uh this is a great feature <clears throat> and everybody asks why did milwaukee wait so long to release a mower and i think the best answer for that is they wanted to do it right when they released it and i believe they did it right on this mower with the two 12.0s up to 60 minutes of runtime i can't wait to get out and try this thing and let you know exactly how it works. Because I promise you, this is the mower I will be using on the commercial property that I do push mow. But, last feature. Don't get too happy here. Last feature and then we'll get into price point and things of that. Easily storable. This is kind of like the Toro stowaway. I really love that feature about the Toro and I'm glad another mower has integrated it into their system weight with both batteries the weight of this mower they say is around 85 pounds now you are going to get a three-year warranty out of this these will start shipping april the first so 
the first week of April or second week of April, you should start noticing these in the Home Depot and things of that nature. Uh, any place around you that carries Milwaukee, hopefully we'll have this mower in stock. They should start shipping the beginning of April. All right, so price point. This mower is going to cost you $999. That is $999 plus tax. Now, let's talk about that. What all do you get? Well, you get two 12.0 batteries. That right there alone is $500 if you go and buy two 12.0s. Then you get the dual rapid charger. That thing's like $120, $130. So $600 in accessories. So then you're getting the mower with all of these features. And I promise you, I promise you that you will not be dissatisfied with the quality of this mower because I have walked up to mowers and literally felt the steel part and been able to push it and bend it very easily. And I cannot do that with this mower. Even the plastic on the back inside here feels very, very great quality. Every bit of this mower is quality. When Milwaukee decided to get into the landscape industry and try to bring us something, well, I think they did it right. I really honestly think they did it right. Some of these companies out there really want to market to the commercial industry, but their mower will not hold up to the industry of the commercial uh, or the commercial industry. So Milwaukee jumped straight off the top and said, this is what we're focusing on. We want to focus on the commercial part of landscapers. Now, if you are a residential owner and you have batteries, even if you don't, it's gonna come with the two 12.0. This is gonna do anything and everything you'll ever want it to do probably. And I don't think you'll have any worries about it. Here it is. I hope you enjoyed it. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If there's something I missed, please comment down below. Hopefully I can help you out. But uh, that's gonna do it for this video. I'm super stoked, super excited to get this out this year, show you what it's actually capable of. So I am Danny and I will see you in the next one.